Riyad Marish starts his day with an early kickboxing session. Pure discipline or aggression? I can let it out here. My trainer helps me to get away from everything for an hour, get rid of all my excess energy. Iyad looks like a man who gets what he wants. Norway Bergen, right? Yeah. yeah. So when did you start? Today, last week, right? Okay, so, um, so welcome. His team consists of 40 people from 12 countries. The latest will be in two months. Then we will hit the one million users. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fiat's Berlin-based startup, ResearchGate, is growing steadily. The team has just moved into new premises, which already feel too small. He's always keeping an eye out for promising new recruits. <laughs> ResearchGate is a social networking platform for scientists, a bit like Facebook, without the advertising. Iyad has encountered a lot of skepticism, even from his own family. Not everyone believed his project would work. But today, the 30-year-old is running a successful company. ResearchGate enables scientists who share research, create communities, find jobs, publish and collaborate, what's called crowdsourcing. I believe that as a communication platform for scientists, ResearchGate has the potential to make information flow more efficiently, and that could completely revolutionize the world of science. I actually believe that for this reason, ResearchGate might one day win a Nobel Prize. Pretty confident. You bet. Iyad was originally a scientist himself. These days, he still follows what's going on at institutes like the German Cancer Research Center. He had studied medicine and IT and looked all set for a meteoric academic career. His own experience as a researcher gave him the idea for ResearchGate. He realized how useful it would be if he were connected online to a broad network of other scientists from all over the world. He'd like to see more of his former colleagues who were based in the U.S. Sometimes I feel something is missing. I miss working in the field and seeing the ideas that I developed with friends and colleagues four years ago in Boston put into practice. And that's always good to see. He had financed his startup with the help of a venture capitalist from Silicon Valley. He and his two co-founders attracted major investors who put up millions. The company is based in Berlin because of the research being done here. There's also a very lively startup scene here in Berlin. Many new companies have done very well, and we're the first German startup with backing from Silicon Valley. And that gives us a special status. The investors are hoping to see a return soon, and the mounting pressure might get to some, but Iyad Madish is made of sterner stuff.